Welcome to this basic tutorial on Photoshop layers. Now what we're going to do is have a look at this panel here on the right hand side in the tab layers and just go through uh, some ideas of how you can use layers when you're dealing with Photoshop images. So first thing I've done is brought up a, a picture of a, a girl here and as you can see if you look over at the layer there's a a note that says that it's the background uh, layer. Now, this is the first thing that I like to do when I'm dealing with layers is I like to right click and do a layer from the background and call that layer 0. This is because the background doesn't allow you any editing capabilities uh, and it's automatically locked so there's not a lot you can do with the background. So what we're going to do is change it to layer so we've done that just now and then what we can do is uh, we can go into uh, Google Images we can take an image like these sunglasses uh, and what we do is we paste them into the picture now when you paste into a picture you automatically get a new layer that comes up here now the other way that you can generate a layer is to actually just come down here and click layer here to add a new layer in and we can paste the, the image into that layer. So what we're going to do is just move this the white section around the, the glasses uh, and then what we're going to do as well is just move the glasses uh, up over the girl's eyes here just rotate them around a bit there and there we go, now she's got now she's got a pair of glasses. So what we've done is we've put the glasses on top of the the main picture but you can come back over here to the layer and you can take off the eyes and see exactly what the the main layer looks like which is this one here. So we want to put the glasses back on there uh, and then what we're going to do as well is come in and we're going to find our nose. So we're going to take this nose here copy that and come back in again so this time I'm going to uh, paste the nose here uh, here we go I'm going to fit the nose in there and just rub out the the white bits there just resize it a bit turn it a bit around Now something that normally happens with layers as well is that luckily with this layer we've got the nose is actually underneath the glasses but depending on where the layer is if you, you can click and move it around and the layer priority uh, changes so the one that's nearest the top is always the one on top. So just so we don't get confused as well we're going to right click just make sure we know which one it is. So that's the one with the nose. So you can right click and click select layer properties. We're going to just change that to nose and then put the top one, change that to shades. And that's basically how we deal with layers. So again, you know you can take you can take them off there like that. Now if you're wanting to do something a bit more serious, like for example, if we were looking at actually doing something like taking our lips, maybe making our lips a bit more red, this is exactly what the layer tool can be used for. If you're doing any editing, you can co take a copy of the main image here and then paste it. As, as you can see, we've just pasted, pasted our lips there. What we've what we've done is if we right click, we'll just click lips here, change that to lips. We can then zoom in into our lips here, make any changes, maybe rub out our teeth, for example. Now, as you can see, we're rubbing out our teeth on this top layer. There we go. But, for some reason, it's 
still showing her teeth on this layer and again that's because this part's been rubbed out and this is transparent now and now we've got our layer there when we bring we bring the second layer back in the main layer which was main rename that as main layer so it doesn't look like we're making any changes at all so what we're going to do is if we go back Uh, instead this time let's actually just paint over choose the brush tool uh, and this time just colour just do a quick colour in we'll just give her a dark lip there so I've just done this quick but as you can see we can edit this section quite accurately and then if we want to bring in the, the background image as well there we go, that's, that's bringing it in there So there we go, now if we're happy with that you've, you've now got two layers here, so you've got your main layer and the lips so what you can do is you can come up to here which is the layer tab and you've got a few options here you can merge visible which means that once we merge that down there that then turns into one image so now the lips are gone the lips layer is gone and the main layer is gone and they've just been joined together in one layer now because we've had the, the eye off these other two tabs here we still have these so these ones are still workable and these are our two layers here now the same thing again if we wanted to come up here click layer and click merge visible that would merge merge them in there so now we don't have any editing capabilities and everything is now down onto onto this now there's another couple of options that you can look at as well is you can click on the shades for example we can come up here and click opacity and we can just make them a bit lighter maybe if we're wanting to see our eyes so there we go, we can make them a bit lighter we'll just make the nose a bit lighter as well just so you can see so that might help us draw around if we were adding another layer and we wanted to draw in another nose then we could add in another layer there and just draw over let's see let's new layer and just call that nose too and if we zoom in here what we can do is change the opacity of the original nose layer and then if we click on the new nose layer that gives us the the option to see what's like hap actually happening in the layer but yet maybe you want to make it a bit smaller so we'll come round here uh, and then come round here and follow it around there like that and there and then just a bit over here there we go and then we'll take that off there As you can see, we've drawn across there. So that's a problem. So all you need to do is shift this back here, like that. And there we go. So we've given her a bit of a different nose. So, and that's really all you need to know for the basics of Photoshop layers. Thanks for watching.